Near Reality has finally released, and being relatively new to old school servers, I thought it would be fun to make an Iron Man account. We're going to be starting out today's episode with a cheeky amulet upgrade. Currently rocking the amulet of accuracy on my melee setup. Do I even have to explain why this needs changing? We're currently after a ruby, only a 1 out of 5 chance here at Zill, so it shouldn't take us too long. <laughs> okay, when I said not too long. First KC, man. If you cannot already tell, we're going for the amulet of strength. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Oh shit, I forgot my shears. Gimme your wool! Wool secured. I believe the only thing we need now is gold, which I think I do actually have a bit of. Hey, there we go, 24 bars. Just about to create my ruby amulet, you. Then we're gonna string the amulet to make ourselves a ruby amulet. Do some hocus pocus with the amulet. And the amulet of strength is mine. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we're gonna start some Zora today, but there's one problem in that plan. I have never actually attempted to kill a Zora before. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to learn Zora from the ground up. Zora on near reality is known for being quite difficult. This could become one of the most frustrating grinds I'll have to get out of the way. And I know jumping into one of the hardest bosses in game sounds a little crazy, but it is the only way of getting the toxic blur pipe. This one weapon opens up so much content for me. Chambers, so Vorkath, with Gauntlet, food and TOB and are Zora's all possibilities we after this grind. So we packed our bags with food and brews and off to Zora's Island we went. I'm not quite sure if my gear is quite what we wanted by the time we started here, but there's no harm in trying. Believe it or not, I've never actually tried to kill a Zora before. I have attempted a custom Zora on a different RSPS, but not the actual one. So I am kind of going in this blind, I don't know the mechanics at it, all, it but I do actually shows, have a Zora guy to help me out, I'll throw that on the uh, screen right now it if technically you are shows off. It technically shows off all the rotations Zora can have, but I'm not going to lie, right now this looks kind of gibberish to me. Oh shit, I didn't bring the ring of recoil. Oh, this is going to end up, end up horribly. Why did I bring the ring of recoil, man? Oh, I'm such a monk. I need to get out of here. I've hardly done any fucking damage to him. How? He's not even half HP. How is this possible? How is this possible, man? We only took about 122 damage off that. <laughs> We've got so much to learn. Okay, so back from a full day of AFK and... Bring us all the way up to 78 crafting. Not too bad to be fair. How many keys do we get? Uh, 12,000. We can buy a couple keys out of that. Nice four in the bank. We'll take the 57 baby dragon bones. Ah. 382,000 uh, remaining XP until 98. We can easily crank that out to 99 by the end of today's video. But I do need to grind some barrows actually. As you see we only have 7 bolt racks. Alright, sweet, there's still an hour left on the Barrow's 25% uh, drop rate. So I think we're probably going to chill for a good hour or so. Hopefully we get enough bolt racks to uh, sort us out. Ooh, Guppin's Playbody. Is that another collection log I see? And the plate legs coming in straight after. Hey, I'm happy I came here, man. The <laughs> cowl's crossbow as well, what the fuck? Nothing from the chest, but I do see 40 bolt racks. That's what we're after, man. Midway through the barrows grind, I realised opening chests is pretty pointless. I didn't know this before, but the brothers on top only have a 1 out of 9 chance for bolt tips. <laughs> Another blood happens. Fucking hell. How many of these do we need? Nice little duplicate Aaron's robe top there. Would you believe it? 99 attack. Heading back to Zora because I'm not going to die. Unless I die. Fuck. Okay, I'm sick and tired of dying. The fact that we've not even got Zora below 200 HP really scares me. An upgrade to our magic gear is needed. 
Magic Cape equipped, and also the Barrage Gloves. These two small upgrades has boosted our magic damage by plus six. Not too sure why I haven't done these two upgrades before, but at least they're done now. Oh, after that attempt. I believe we can get the kill now. I've been saying that for the last two hours. I have literally been here for two hours without a single kill. I'm going to record this full kill. And uh, yeah. You're about to witness history, boys. I, I just don't know where to go. I am so confused. I am just so confused. What the fuck? I'm trying to follow the the map, but it just confused the shit on me. I thought I was on one track. Then out of nowhere, switch to another. We get so close and we're just like, that was such a good run. That was such a good run to start off with, and then out of nowhere, just in a minute, absolutely completely fumbles the bag. This right here is a documentary on how a man has went insane at Zora. What? Oh, fuck, hey, look how fucking close we were. You can hear it in my voice, you can actually hear how annoyed I am. First so sad, 140, would have died there. 130, we're getting actually pretty close now. No, 174, fucking hell. All right, so I've been thinking for a while now, what piece of armor do I have to actually upgrade to get this kill? And the one thing that sticks out to me has to be the full elite void. The damage input just isn't there, so I've decided we're going to be swapping it over to a full cowl set. A massive plus 160 range damage. If we can't kill Zoa with this armor, I don't think we'll ever get the job done. We're just on the hunt for the Colf and Bottoms. Oh! Let's go, the Carol's Lover Skirt. Let's go, baby! Oh, the Carol's Colf. Oh, baby, look at that. The full Carol's with the Amulet of Dan brings us up to a 160 range. Zora, come meet me at the car park, boy. I want a 1v1. 80, crafting! Oh, my God. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Come on. 4 HP. Come on. Bang. Yeah. Let's go. Didn't get any drops from there, but. Oh my god, we did it, boys. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't understand how happy I am. That is a five hour grind trying to get one kill at Zora. Boys, I really think the Carol switch was the uh, was the best call. I was noticing so much more damage on the magic phase compared to before. You know what? I reckon I can go for another one. Fuck it, why not? Oh, 35 HP, man. Second kill. Come on. Ah, nothing as well. Third kill. Oh, a magic fang. Let's go. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, that's so annoying. That could have been a blow pipe, man. Both on the exact same drop table. One out of 300. You know what, though? I'm not too upset with this. With a magic fang, we can turn this into a toxic staff of the dead, I believe. Okay, so we're going to trade our trident for... And there we go, the toxic trident is mine. Let's fucking go, boys. And that's where I'm going to be ending off today's episode. Big gains as always. Next episode, we're 100% going to grind out for that blowpipe. I'm having a blast loading the game. If you're not already playing near reality, sort yourself out. By far the biggest old school server at the moment with 1,200 plus online at like 4am in the morning. It's kind of crazy how big this server is. If you are interested in joining, I'll leave all the links in the description. But other than that, I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end. Now I'm off to go kill some more Zoras. Adios, amigos. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster. Win, 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 that's the only ammo Ring, 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 I reply with Enno Call me Leno, how the heart